Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how we can handle errors using callbacks. If you haven't watched my previous video, please do watch it. In that video, I was trying to dynamically load this script file which you are right now seeing inside the index.html file by using callback. So in this callback.js file, I have written the load function to dynamically load this script inside our index.html file. And beneath we have just called it using callback. Now let's say if there is any error rel related to script, let's say if script is not fully loaded or we have put the wrong file name or if there is any network issue. So how to handle those cases? So what we will do is in script onload function, as you can see inside the callback, we will pass one more parameter to handle the error. Right now it will be null because it is inside the script onload, which is obvious that it will run whenever there is uh, whenever script is fully loaded or successfully loaded. So in that case, obviously there will be no error. So that's why we are writing null. Now, if suppose there is any error related to script, if suppose script is not fully loaded or if there is any network issue. So what we will do, just write script dot on error and we will return the callback with the specified error that you want to throw. You can write new error, which will instantiate the error class. Inside it, you can pass any error that you want to throw whenever script has some error related to network issue or if suppose you have put the wrong file name. Okay. So you can write any error message inside it. Now let's save this file and let's see whether it is working or not. But first, uh, where we are calling this function, there also we will pass the error parameter because we have changed the callback parameters. Uh, let's delete all this stuff and we will write some conditions here that if there is any error, we want to handle that particular error. So we will create this function later. Else we want to, you know, call the hello function that we were calling earlier. So let's see whether it is working. So yeah, it is working. Now let's introduce some error. Uh, let's change the file name which does not exist for right now. So let's see whether error will come or not. Uh, let's create a function to handle this error. So it will take the error parameter. For now, we will just try to show the alert box whenever any error will occur. Okay, you can do any particular, you know, thing that you want to do with the error to handle it. So yeah, as you can see, error is coming. Sorry, there is some error script is not loaded. So that means our callback function is working. So in this way, you can use uh, error. You can handle errors using callbacks. Now we will learn what is callback hell. So callback hell is basically using nested callbacks inside one another because sometimes you, you know, tend to be happen in those situations where you want to use, you know, multiple callbacks. So in that case, callback hell occurs. So let's use uh, another callback inside this load function. So again, we will write same thing. We will call the load function. Again, we will check the conditions. If error is there, then we want to handle that particular error. Else we want to call particular functionality or whatever, you know, you want to do in that particular script after loading that script. So you can write any particular function that you want to perform inside this else part. Then again, let's say I'm calling another callback function. Again, I will write the same code and again, I will check the conditions. If error is there, I want to handle that particular error else I want, you know, I, I can perform any particular function. So as you can see, you know, we are using multiple callbacks inside one another and it is increasing the code and it will become unreadable for the user. So this is known as callback hell when you use multiple callbacks inside, you know, one another. So. In the next video, we will try to avoid callback hell by using promises. Promises are just enhanced versions of callbacks, you can say in simple language. So in the next video, we will learn that. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching video. If you have any doubts, just let me know down in the comment section. Thank you.